standing 6'1", weighing in at 184 pounds. He's trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Muay Thai. Enters tonight with a record of 14 and 7 out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, George Santiago. The third man in the cage is Cecil Peoples. The rules at all time. Let's bring it. Keep it clean. First of two tournament fights. First of two, potentially, five-minute rounds. Salmon and Southpaw's uh, stands uh, is a little bit tricky. And Southpaw's always a little tricky to mess with. Beautiful reach. Santiago, well-versed in beautiful reach. judo as well. He's got the total package. Oh, and he's got the And, he's and he's that's done. it! Look at Cecil wow. Peoples fly wow. in there to protect wow. Sean Salmon as he hit the deck in a hurry. Man, that was impressive. And he never saw that coming. That shut him right down. In a heartbeat, Santiago ends it. Wow, and to knock a man out like that fresh with an unseen blow. Sean Salmon is devastated. He is out. And now attention being paid to Sean Salmon. Hopefully he is okay. You saw the reaction by Cecil Peoples. He sensed just how dangerous this could be. He was immediately on it. And that jump flying knee, thank God the actual knee didn't hit him. It was more of a shin bone grazing. But beautiful, right on the side of the neck, totally unseen. And you can never look away from combat like that. That's why that hurts so much. But there it is again, and it's just a shin bone in the neck, and it stunned him. It put him out. That second one put him a little bit deeper. Well, here's a very positive sign. Sean Salmon trying to get up, and he is. He's getting up. He's, he's just wobbling. wobbly. He is absolutely wobbly. But he's up momentarily, and the medical staff wants him to go down. So clearly our thoughts with Sean Salmon, wondering about his condition. They lasted merely 24 seconds. Danny Miller's got more George particulars. Santiago.